Hey guys, this seemed like a really good uh, time today to answer some Python questions. So I got this question about visual debuggers uh, for Python from Charlie C here. And I just want to read out the question. So the question is, hi, Dan, is there a debugger in Python in the Python world that is anything like the debugger in the Visual Basic IDE? It seems so simple incrementing through lines of code and examining variable values and so on. Um, yes, there is. Uh, so there's a couple of tools that are available that, that you can use um, to, to achieve that, to get visual debugging with Python. Um, I'm going to leave out some of the command line oriented or text mode oriented tools here. Personally, I really enjoy working with uh, PDB and PDB++ and um, also a tool called PUDB. Those all run in the terminal. And um, it sounds like you're more looking for something that is actually a full blown uh, GUI application for debugging your Python programs. Um, if you can go with the text mode stuff, yeah, then absolutely read up on PDB, PDB++ and PUDB. All right, so in terms of visual debuggers um, that uh, operate like the, the one in the VBA IDE, um, I would point you towards um, a couple of IDEs. And, and actually, there's a really good list here on uh, the Python wiki. And um, this list is just super solid. So I'm going to link that in the description. And you can you can check that out. Um, my personal preference when it comes to visual debuggers in Python would be to use the PyCharm IDE. It's a great product. They have a really, really solid high performance editor. Um, I remember at PyCon Munich, um, like two years ago, there was an in depth sort of uh, talk on how they how they actually manage to speed up the debugger. And they're doing some really, really interesting things to give you a good experience. So this is, you know, well maintained, really solid. And if you're looking for a proper like full blown IDE, I would probably go with PyCharm. I think it's a really solid product. The, the, the debugger is great. Like that's one of the the main selling points, at least in my opinion. So the other thing, um, so PyCharm is a paid product. The other thing that you could use if you're more um, if you're more on the, the entry level in, in terms of your Python skills, you might want to check out a tool called uh, Thony, which is a, I guess, a word play on, on Pythony or something like that. And it's, um, it is, it is sort of a better version of the idle, um, the idle environment that is just, you know, your, your text mode interpreter um, for Python. And this, this thing is, is more like an in-between between, you know, an editor and an, and an IDE, but more from a learning perspective. And um, it has a pretty great debugger that again is very much focused on the learning um, aspects of this. And I did a video where I showed off uh, Thony in the past. So I'm also gonna link that um, for or on this video so you can find it. Um, probably check it out. You know, I, I would just check it out. It's a free, uh, free product, open source tool. And um, you might have a really good experience with that. Now there are a couple more IDEs that also have built in visual debuggers. Uh, there's the PyDev plugin, I believe that's a plugin for the Eclipse platform. Um, I haven't used it in recent years, to be honest, um, seems like a pretty good product back in the past. I at some point just abandoned it and went with PyCharm. Um, and now I'm actually using Sublime Text and I'm using, you know, uh, text mode debuggers for all of my all of my debugging needs. But you know, if you want to if you want a visual debugger, um, at this point, it's probably a pretty mature choice to, to at least try out PyDef and, and see how you like it. Uh, there's also the wing IDE and the Komodo IDE. And I um, I would probably also just try them out, see how much you like them. If you want just one product where uh, where I could just support that choice, you know, make a recommendation, I would probably just check out PyCharm and see if that does everything you want. Pretty sure it will. So that would be my recommendation. All right. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you want your own Python question answered, then just leave a comment below and I'll try and do a future video on that. I'm a little bit backed up with questions, but just leave a comment. Um, I see them all in my YouTube uh, when I log into YouTube and I'll try and tackle every single one of those with videos in the future. All right. Take care and happy Pythoning.